ladies. It's great to be yeah, here with you. Hello. So, Pam, tell me, what is C here? Uh, the C here runs as a collective. Uh, there's normally 12 of us, and so we get a month to show in the space per year. Sometimes we invite, uh, we have in, invited artists, uh, but mostly we show amongst ourselves. Ah, excellent. Yeah. So, um, what's your relationship with the French art shop? So, we've been here since 2017. We've had two previous um, places before that, before I was part of the group. And uh, we share, as you can see, part of the, <laughs> the window space. And it's fantastic here for us because we have a uh, captive audience already. We have um, artists coming in, so yeah. Oh yeah, excellent spot. Mm. Actually, that makes mm. sense, doesn't it? It's a yeah. good relationship. Yeah. Mm. So um, Vivian, do you want to tell me about the history of the sea here? The, the sea here is the brainwave of Sunny Herman who was a Fitorea student, she studied jewellery and when she finished her degree she started looking for a way to market her work and really found it quite difficult and in conversation with Jana Millers mm. they came up with this idea and when we were all, the, the group of ten were invited to meet together the idea became a little bit more um, developed on a non-commercial space, a space for experimenting and that's how it's carried on. It's basically a fantastic small gallery, non-commercial, mm. but it's a brilliant place mm. for people to do experiments. Yeah, it is. It's really exciting. Yeah. work a bit mm. further. Yeah, the, I always look forward to when the windows mm. change to mm. see what the work is. So that yeah. brings me to this work. Becky, do you want to tell us about this work you've got here? Uh, okay. Um, I developed it as a range of jewellery for a show that we had as part of Handshake in the Netherlands last year. Um, and it was in response to Childhood by Design that we sometimes become the toys we play with. Mm. And, I, and I looked at the Mikado and it was always boys on the box and engineering for boys and really it was made for boys. And so I, so I developed, I made a whole set of Mikado myself and I developed a family. So this is the father. <laughs> so they were originally, you know, you can imagine, you know, six inches, seven inches mm. high. This is the father. Halfway through my time here, I'm going to change it to the son who's pink. It's also a reference to pink and blue, you know, yeah, I've got a yeah. blue girl, and yeah. uh, this is the standard Meccano colours. Um, so, yeah, and I've got two others in the family as well, as well. Um, multicultural, multi, you know, LGBT family. Yeah. Um, so Meccano lives matter. Meccano lives yeah. matter. <laughs> <laughs> That's right. <laughs> and and yeah. how have you found it being with the collective? Great, it's great, yeah, no, good. How long have you been with people. them? Um, three years. Um, how many shows have you done? Um, this is my third while I've been a member, but I had three others as a guest. Oh, great. So um, how long have you been part of the Sea Here family then? Oh, uh, no. uh, the first one I had was in Newtown, so that was probably shortly after the, so mm. the, the sea here has been going for 10 years. Yeah. So right, and so yeah. can you tell me the loca locations that you've been in? So it started off in the front window of a small design company in Constable Street and when that uh, expanded and we were required to move on we found a space at Tory Street and we were there for a few years and then that again became repurposed and, and taken over and luckily we found uh, th another home, a new home in, in the French art shop and they've been absolutely mm. brilliant. Yeah. And so sadly the French art shop is closing, so what That's do right. you see the future of C here? We're going to, we, you know, it was disappointing and we love the relationship here, but we're flexible, it won't be the end of the sea here, it's our 10th anniversary, so it's, you know, we've been going a long time. Wow, that's pretty really good. And we're going to hopefully get funding for a publication to celebrate that, and we will just move online until we can get a space. Great, yep. so you've got an online presence that people Absolutely. can go to and find out yes. more information? Yes. Where do we find that? The sea here. We're on Instagram, uh, Facebook, and our web page. Yeah. Okay. Oh, that's excellent. Mm. Did you want to add anything else about the Sea Here movement? <laughs> <laughs> I just think it's a it's a great collective. We've got people from a range of um, disciplines, 
and with a range of experience. So it's, a, it's How's just been a great opportunity for us all. We're very supportive. Mm. And, yeah. How do you become other. part of the collective, asking for a friend? Oh, <laughs> <laughs> definitely <laughs> not. <laughs> um, How rude. Well, when we have a, a, a space or an opportunity come up, then we just put our sort of feelers out and, you know, we get... Um, Oh, sorry. We we have a we mm. have a mm. we do have meetings quite regularly, yeah. mm. and the minutes that we um, the minute, oh, golly, the the meetings are minted and agended, mm. and yeah. part of that is a discussion of new members and who would be who would fit mm. into the group mm. really yeah. well. we we started out because um, most of the people. In fact, all of the people who were part of the original uh, C here were, came from Fitorea, from the jewellery department. Mm. It was mainly looking at experimental jewellery, but as time has gone past and people have dropped out to, to pursue other interests, we've expanded to include all kinds of different artists and now we have we have um, people who do design work people who make ceramics so we are looking to make a really firm and interesting wide-ranging group of artists but not too big we keep it yeah. at about the yeah. eight to ten oh that's good it's i think mm -hmm. it's better when you work as a collective because you have more support with what you're doing as well and yeah. Mm. As they say, many yeah, hands definitely. make light yeah. work. Yeah. So Pam, you've actually shown and see here too, haven't you? Yes, I remember I, I went to a launch. Had, yeah, when we were in Tory Street, yeah. so I was invited. So Tara Brady, who's still a member, um, offered me her slot. So it was a, just a great experience. It's been mm. fantastic. And best of all, because we're on the street, as you can see, mm. there's 24 hour access. Yeah, yeah, that people mm. can just see it all the time. Yeah. It's such a great initiative. Mm. So, um, how are you finding it being part of the collective? Oh, great! It's great. You know, because it's a really stimulating group of people, mm. um, and the meeting's always fun. You know, <laughs> <Yeah>. <laughs> usually good yeah. food and, yeah. <laughs> and a, yeah. a drop. Oh yeah, <laughs> that bring anybody to the meetings, yes. eh? Yeah. yeah. And the work is always stimulating that people do. Yeah, yeah. 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 excellent. Well, thank you very much for your time, ladies. Oh, thank You're you. Very and being thank in the you. same bubble. And yeah. cheers. <laughs> cheers. Book bubbles. Cheers. Cheers. <laughs> cheers. So hi, um, just hi. looking at the French art shop, it's not just a shop, it's an art shop. Do you want to talk about it? Yeah, um, so uh, although we, you know, our main objective is to sell art supplies, we also in, have um, ended up becoming this sort of central point of contact because um, a lot of different artists come through and a lot of um, people that want to start art come through. So we end up just being like a really nice central focal point for um, Wellington artists in this community. Excellent. And what does um, See Here bring to the shop? So I, what the See Here brings is, um, I think, uh, innovation and also um, I like the experimental nature of their work as well, which I think um, we really like to promote within the shop. Um, I think Wellington creativity has an edge in the sense that uh, we aren't afraid to be different mm. and um, that's what I really like about the sea here as well so um, it's all about promoting like values that I would like to see in the art community here. Oh that's excellent and um, sadly I hear that the French art shop is closing down. Yes well at the moment we are finishing our lease up here um, but we are still considering what will happen in the future we're still exploring opportunities so uh, at this location, we will be finishing up July 17th, but uh, after that, um, there may be a new version of the shop. Okay, we'll stay tuned to see yep. what happens. So do you want to, what's this? Yes, so um, this is uh, the Lucky Drop Zine Machine from Wellington Zine Fest Committee. Um, they put this in in February, and then of course, um, the coronavirus struck. So, uh, yes, yeah, so what this is, is the, um, it's a zine vending machine and we stock a lot of local Wellington artists 
and the lineup changes frequently and you can just come in. All the zines are about a dollar to three dollars. Um, and it's just a nice kind of um, point for like people to again like experiment mm. and do something different and um, get their work out there. Uh, but um, just to be just for fun, really. Just I love having it. fun and having a play. I'm totally gonna get one. Oh awesome. And so what's happening with this when you move? So what's happening with this, um, they are still figuring out a new location as well. But they do have a, another service that they're running at the moment, which is called Lucky Mail Drop. And they will be, um, so you can sign up and they will send you a bunch of zines, random zines, um, for I think it's either $8 for A6 and about $9 for A5 zines. And Excellent. So, yeah, so they're where do, still. Where do people sign up? Oh, you can find them on their Wellington Zine Fest Facebook. And they have a Google form on there, so that um, you put your address in and just pay them the money, and then they send you a bunch of zines, and they can do it anywhere in New Zealand. So it's not limited to Wellington. Oh yeah, what a good idea! I love that. Yeah. And then, um, do you want to tell us about your display in the window? <laughs> <laughs> sure. Um, so this uh, display is based on the old saying: "The pen is mightier than the sword." And um, we wanted to illustrate that. Um, uh, we made this to illustrate the um, the power of the power the pen. of the pen. Yeah, really. yeah. Thank you. <laughs> um, and yes, it was made by Sabina Rizzo Shaw and the team at the French Art Shop. Um, yes, but uh, it's great. Thank you. Well done. Thank you. Thank you very much. No worries.